be again, as we say. And we just see the start of the program by telling you about this war we are going down in the Africa land there, East Africa. As we are telling you, say, the only thing that divides the land is the Swiss Canal. And that was man-made. We have some people where they say, say them now let you know ship through the Red Sea, that same Red Sea that we hear. We might talk about Moses' part. <laughs> well, we are telling you, people can attack some things, you know, and people believe it. So the man part the sea and make one million people walk through. And then when the Egyptian them are come through, the water cover them and kill off the whole of them. That is genocide. Serious genocide. But we hear them I talk about the war and we are say one thing lead to the next and we see that lead to the next. Cause while America a fight a, a, a proxy war according to them in a Ukraine them now a fight a war in a the Red Sea cause them just bomb up a place in a Yemen a place where them did a bomb them and they arab them did a bomb for years now them a bomb the place and a kill off all the people that's the next genocide and now we see them start bomb the place again but Iran back them a back the the Yemenites them and we know so things can get sticky because Iran look like them not afraid of America again as a matter of fact nobody no look like them afraid of America again because all Saudi Arabia now decide say they go giant bricks. And you know say who they in a bricks? Russia, South Africa, Brazil, India, them country they have power, cause you know say India have nuclear weapon. Yeah, them no them no business. India have nuclear weapon. So we are take a stock and a look from where I go on. Them are have a court of justice where the South African them bring up Israel and a claim genocide against the people of Palestine. And the Israel them lie and them say a foolishness like that that's not genocide. They might react to something that happened to them, but them now remember say the reason why that happened to them was because the people them who was reacting to something that had been happening to them for years. It's a reaction. But them wanna make you feel say it start right this up on December seventh. When it start from nineteen forty eight and beyond. We have to really take a sack of the propaganda with these Western media put out there. Because if your mind sharp, you get carried away into madness and craziness. Israel, Israel, so far, them say 22, 23,000 people have been killed by bombs and guns from Israel, not to mention those. That is under the rubble. Can you imagine when them dig out them rubble and find them with body under them rubble there? That terrible thing. You know, they say the Ukraine and Russian war come off of the radar. You think that Putin is glad for that? <laughs> you can't go and bomb. Can you say Putin was committing genocide in a Ukraine? I know me a Putin attack like him is a angel. I don't understand them people there, you know. Them people that dangerous. Putin attack like him a angel now. I know America did attack out him a commit genocide. They must need to go to the International Court of Justice. But South Africa was brave enough to carry the Israeli them to that court. So we're going to see what going to happen. We're going to see what's going to happen in that. But stay tuned, because the worst is yet to come. Yes, yeah, some things are going to happen where you never believe so that it'll happen. 
in a your lifetime. That is what I say. In a our lifetime. Some things are going to happen we will never expect. That is our aim. Each one, teach one. Elevation. That is what we are dealing with. And even though we see things look away. I'm shining, you know. <laughs> I got the diamond <laughs> I think there's something beautiful about the fact you... Yeah, but we know it's a good must overcome evil. Yes. Our father said that. Good must overcome evil. We are confident in good over evil. So the youth, them take a different turn. For some reason or another, them take a different turn. Not, not, like I don't know why. But the environment in which them live in now is very Americanized. Very Americanized. And when you have money to push your culture, because that is how them do, them use money to use propaganda to push them culture in different parts of the world. Like McDonald's. McDonald's in a, is an American institution that anywhere in the world you go, you see McDonald's. I remember one time them did a bundle McDonald's tour um, in, a, in, a, in, a, um, in a India. Because you know them people, they know, them really idolize the cow. We we'll leave them doing the cow eating. And then they like, oh, McDonald's, they're not sell burger. And the people them decide, say, we will have none of that. But we know all these cultures stay. When you have power, you get corrupted more than usual, the normal. You know them say, power corrupt. Absolute power corrupt, absolutely. So when you feel so you're safe, in a year, like a cultural expression, you find an infiltration coming in, you, that you wonder, how come it just come in, so? And if you look on the Western world now, I mean, I forgot far, but looking at the island where we're there, or any of the Caribbean island them, whether you were influenced, or you were colonized by Britain, whether you was colonized by France, or whether you was colonized by the Dutch, or the Germans, the American influence is the largest purveyor of white supremacy. Anywhere you go, no doubt about it. The way we dress, the way we eat, when we sleep, when we go to work, our whole perspective is centered around the Americanization of our consciousness. Some of us escape it. Some of us trying to escape it. But it's important to know. Because if you don't know, say, you are brainwashed into believing that the life you are living is a life that you set for yourself. You make a sad mistake. Because a lot of things that we do is centered around something that was pre-designed Pre-designed for our living, and our holy power is living it out without consciously awakening to a realization that we come like zombies. If I hear fella sing with you named Zombie, then till if you turn right, you turn right. Till if you turn left, you turn left. It's zombies the whole of us. We are living in the world of zombies. If you don't have power. Power, you know, the billionaires of the world, the ten richest people in the world get richer. Them, 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 them finance double, double since COVID, and yet still, the people them, the millions of people them is still suffering. One wonder which part them get for them which is from if them which is double and poor people don't have nothing where them get it from but we have to wake up to these things especially African people we have to wake up to these things we have to set ourselves politically, socially 
spiritually. And all the all of them that we can find yourself, squeeze yourself in her. Because trust me, the Americanization of our culture is deeply embedded in the young people, their mind. Now when I say deep, I mean they have become America. All those who never go to America yet, because you know you don't have to go to America to live an American dream. Yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to go to our oh, guest here. Um, uh, all right. Because, because, good evening. Yes, good evening, my brother. How are you? I am okay. I am totally okay. You know, you catch me off guard. I was going to go for the paper and then... You have to tell the people then what is happening here, please. Um, yeah, what's happening is that uh, we, um, as uh, as people, yes. um, after research, uh, notice that uh, more than 90% of us who live and born in the diaspora are not uh, of African descent and did not decide to become a diaspora ourselves. Yeah. We were forced to be diaspora. Yeah, it definitely. started with the, with the enslavement and uh, colonization. So because of that, uh, most of us who are in the diaspora are not aware of the condition which happened. So today we say we are Brazilian, we are African American, mm. we are Jamaican, and so. But the reality is that we came from somewhere. Yeah. So uh, once we realized that, and uh, nobody is talking about it, we decided to uh, do a, a summit um, called Ubuntu Awakening Summit. Okay. Ubuntu because it is uh, genuinely from the African awakening oh, because, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, because many of us are not aware of uh, our situation. Now, why we need to awaken is simple because when they decided to create us as diaspora, when we st they started the enslavement of our ancestors, they left Europe they went to Africa to collect our ancestors. They went to West Indies and uh, and uh, and the Americas, and they sold us. And uh, they collected the money, collected the riches, and went back to uh, Europe to develop themselves. Now, once they did that, this could start creating a problem. Why? Because they started taking away our people from where we were from, where, where we are from. So this is... I just found out about this amazing program for my neighbor who works for an affordable connectivity program. Get an amazing... The Triangulo, the Transatlantic Triangulo. Now, this summit is doing the reverse of the Triangulo. So we are awakening to tell our people that we need to go back home. Now, when we say going back home, we are not asking people to today pack up the bag every single run to Africa. No, we're just telling people us that we need to be aware where we're coming from. It doesn't matter where you live because you can decide to live anywhere in the world. You are allowed to, but you need to know who you are. Now, many people is asking us why Jamaica? Because when they enslaved our ancestors, Jamaica was a hub, was a place where they were taking our ancestors and then distributed through other islands in America in the thing. So when they were collecting the riches, they were trying to bringing it to Jamaica again and taking it to Europe. So Jamaica always been a hub, being the center of all of this. And in Jamaica also was where the enslavement when the rebellion started. So this is the reason why we chose Jamaica to be our very first um, Ubuntu Awakening Summit. Now, in 2025, we're going back 
to Sao Tome, where there was the first hub. Back where, 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 back to where you say? Where you say again, back to? San Tome, San Tome and the Principe. It's a tiny island in the west, uh, in the west of Angola, in south of, of Ghana. Okay. Mm. okay, that island was the first slave hub created by the Portuguese more than 50 years before they create, the British created one in Ghana. So, this is, so we're doing 2025 there. 2026, we come back to Brazil because Brazil took more than 60% of the enslaved. Then we go to Ghana the next year. The following year, we come back, we go to Haiti because it was the first black country independent and beat British, the French, and the, and the, and the British and the French. And then we go back to Nigeria because many people, for example, from Jamaica came from Yoruba and Igbo, okay? And then we go back to the America, to do this United States. And then we come back to Congo. So we're going to continue to do this every year until everybody understands that we need to go back home spiritually. And then right. if one day you, you decide to go back, that's okay for you. So this is what is happening right now. Right, in, make, uh, ask you a question. make a ask you a question. No. The, you're talking about going back and forth, back and forth. What is it that you intend to achieve with this back and forth with the people in this part of the world, what you intend, and who is going, and who is sponsoring these these trips, these movement? Well, as I said, the movement it started from being spiritual first, and then educating people about who we are. Now, the the remember that you, if you are descendant of Africa, the, your land is there waiting for you. So you can decide not to go and claim it. You can stay where you are, no problem. But we need to uh, educate particularly the young people that they've got a place to go. Many of us live in the diaspora, including me. We think that the diaspora is the place where we're coming from, and this is not true. So this is the first thing. The second thing very important is why are we going back and forth, back and forth? If you notice, when the enslavement happened, they were, they were going from Africa directly to the Caribbean. Now, if you are in Africa, you want to go to Caribbean, you have to go through Europe or you have to go through America. You can, there's no direct connection right now between them. So we, you need to ask yourself why. If you are in Jamaica, you want to go to Ghana, you can't go direct. You have to go through Britain. You have to go through Germany. You have to go through the United States. Why? Now, I tell you why. One of the reasons is because they did it deliberately, so then every time you want to, to go, is difficult and more, very expensive. So many people cannot go because of the cost. So this is, the, this is the really what we do, because our summit will put a business symposium there where we're going to have airline companies, we're going to have shipping companies, and so... All right, just a minute, just a minute, down. just a minute, just a minute. We still don't answer my question, and I'm asking, yeah. who is sponsoring this back and forth that you're talking yeah. about? Because you just mentioned the island of Ghana, you mentioned the Congo, one year you're going to the Congo, the next year you're going... Who is sponsoring this, and what are we actually doing when we get to those countries and come back and then go back and go who is doing these things who, who, who is taking the tab for these things yeah well first of all uh, i needed to let you know that we are, have not been sponsored by anybody our organization we are very independent and free why because many times what we don't understand is that when other organizations come and sponsor our activities, they dictate and corrupt our organizations. And our homogeneous generation, whilst we are free, we are independent, we do everything with our own resources. We're not okay. asking, and we never ask anybody for those organizations to give us anything. Because whenever you start taking money from them, they come inside as spies. And then they destroy your organization. And you can go around the world looking to our organization. 
is so your, so your organization is sponsoring all of this. That's what you're saying. Yes, I'm saying you that they are not sponsored. No, we're doing it with our own resources. Yes, we're not. We're not. Uh, no, we're no, not I'm saying your money. organization is sponsoring it without the aid of anyone outside. Yes, our own right. so, generation wealth is the one who is doing that. Yes. Yes. So, what is it that you intend to achieve by going back and forth with these movements from Angola and to you mentioned all this Nigeria? What is it that you intend to achieve by doing that? Yeah, okay. As I mentioned before, the thing is that we need to connect back to our origin. For example, if you know, because we, we want three things out of this, all those summits. Number one is spiritual awakening, okay, as I explained before. Number two is heritage discovery. We want our people to discover where they come from. Number three, we want ancestral lineage connection. Those are the three main objectives that we want to achieve with this. Number four, we want the business to connect directly, okay, Caribbean and Africa. We don't need to go through Europe. We don't need to go through America to do that, okay? So we want a trade relationship directly between the two. This is the reason why we bring in so powerful speakers. For example, the speakers that are, is, are here, they, they are part of the organization that the speak up, right? No, the speakers are not, no. They, they are people who are not part of the organization at all. For example, there's no, there, of course, there are few speakers who are part of the organization. So where is this, where, where, where's the organization um, headquarters? Where's the organization headquarters? Yeah. Yes, the headquarters right now is in the UK, but you, we have branches right now uh, in Africa, in Latin, in, for example, in Panama and, and Brazil and the United States and things like this. So we've got branches and ambassadors in those places. But the headquarters right now is in the UK. It's in the UK. United UK. And yes. this, this reason about not going to um, Europe, we have been here, I mean, we have been lobbying for this. For, I mean, actually, it actually did start one time with, with from Nigeria, from Barbados, um, Nigerian airline. And we have been hearing so much about the traveling and not going to America. What is this organization plan not to go to America or Europe and go straight to Africa, given that all the places that you hear, what you just mentioned, is connected to yes. England, Euro, and Europe? What, what, what is it that you are going to do to, to make well, that possible, the, that the, 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 the airlines don't go to uh, Europe? Yeah, you, you, there are two things that you need to look into fundamentally. Number one is the financial system, is the first one. And we were going to bring to the summit uh, uh, the only person who created the uh, alternative financial system, Pan-Africanist, the only one so far, okay, in forms of. So this is the first thing that you have to look into, and we have to look into that already and is ready to go actually. Number two is the transport system. You need to have the transport system because whatever you do, if the transport system is not there in place, there are many things which happen, including, for example, the UK and the United States decide if you want to go to Jamaica from Tanzania, they can stop you from going because they create what they call transit visa and they refuse you the transit visa and immediately you lost the money that you pay for the ticket. Yeah, you Bridget, 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 Bridget I, I don't want to run it down, but look here. We understand all of that, you know. Start the year with joy and style. At Rona, we have the furniture you need to renovate your home with incredible prices, easy payment, home delivery, and much more. It doesn't matter if you have no credit. We have a plan for you. Jump for joy and visit Rana today. We, we, we know all of that already. What we're talking about now, what is it that your organization will do. We're not talking about what they are doing to stop us. What is it that your organization is doing in relationship to even the summit that you speak about that will prevent us 
from going to England to go to Africa or going to America to go to Africa? What is the, the system that you're going to use to do that? I just mentioned to you the first thing is alternative financial system. This is one. So then that would cut that need. Number two is this transport system. I mentioned to you that we're going to have a symposium, the business symposium there to have real businessmen and women in, in the travel industry, in the tourism industry, sitting down there and doing direct connection. Because if you've got the proper, if you've got the agreement between, let's say, Jamaica and, and Nigeria, and, uh, you know, direct, uh, direct connection there, you've got the airline plus the plane. You can do it direct. You don't need anything else. And if you've got the financial system immediately, you've got things. So we've got the airliners, okay, at least two of them. And we've what's got the, the, the What's which airlines? Which airlines from which African country? Well, I, I want to hold uh, hold that uh, right now on hand, okay? But there are two because otherwise, uh, because we want the people to go and see for themselves, okay? The airline is going to be in the room. They're going to be there. Okay. Plus the government, but plus the government officers, they're yeah. going to be in the room. So then the protocol can be established. Okay. Once okay. the protocol, once the protocol is established, there's no need. And you got, you've got the flow of money, you've got the plane, and you've got the, if you like, the commercial or, or, or trade relationship there. So you've got the government who determine that and, and sign that, and you've got the businessmen who educate that. Okay. So you, we've got it there for people to go. You come in there, you're going to see. Because, you know, as you said, our brothers and sisters and even our ancestors started for a long time ago to do it, but it never happened. Yeah, uh, so where, where is this summit keeping? When When is it keeping and where? The summit uh, is scheduled, obviously, to be in, um, uh, of course, in Jamaica from the 5th of February to 10th of February the of this of February. year. So, yeah, fifth of yeah, the fifth uh, of yes. February to tenth yeah. of February yeah. at the moment, and okay. we've got it. We've got it split. Uh, one part of the summit is going to be in Negril, and the other part is going to be in Kingston. So we want the people both in Negril and Kingston to benefit from from the from the joy of of the, of the summit. So can you tell us, like, one who are the speakers? So one of them. Well, okay, we've got many speakers, uh, obviously, but I can tell you two or three of them that people in Jamaica may know. Number one, Dr. Arikana Chimbore Kwao. That lady, when since she, was, she started, she really, uh, you know, woke many of us up. So she was a former ambassador of uh, AU in the United States, and she's yeah. got an organization called uh, ADDI. So, yes. she, you know, many people may know her. This is one. We've got another speaker called Bishop Joshua Maponga, the third. Yeah, you, know, know she, know yeah. Yeah. you know, she is a, she's another speaker of ours. We've got another speaker called uh, Brighton Abulele, or Nana Obodusie. He is the creator of the Pan-African crypto, the only one which he created the, the, the alternative financial system. He's based in the U.S., again, another heavyweight speaker. We've got a mathematician, for example, called Pai Resho, who's going to come also to explain to us and show us a few, few things uh, uh, out there. We've got Wood Maya, you know, who is uh, uh, the, the biggest uh, YouTuber of Africa. You, Wood Maya, would be also speaking and covering our event to show the young people that it is possible for you to create financial independence and create it for you. We've got, uh, um, you know, financial strategist in the table also speaking. We've got, uh, uh, for example, uh, people um, talking about uh, uh, yoga because many people think that yoga is, uh, is Asian while yoga was created in Africa. So we've got a variety of people. For example, we've got people who come and talk to you about or we're really talking to us about the the state planning uh, and uh, how to protect your assets. So there is a variety of people there bringing, but all of it to go to one objective is that we need to work on our liberation, true liberation. 
not not just political, but uh, true liberation, global uh, liberation. We are in Negro and Kingston go and keep. We, I, I, don't, I don't remember if you told me. We are in Negro and Kingston. Yeah, Negro and Kingston. The venue, the venue. We are venue. Sorry? I don't remember if you told me which we are the venues in Kingston and Negril that it is going to be kept. Well, as a, a, you know, as you as um, yes, I'm I'm with you. We we're going to use, uh, for example, in Negril is is Negril Resort. This is the this is the one that uh, that we're gonna we're gonna use. And uh, in the in the um, uh, in uh, in Kingston, Kingston. Yeah. yeah, Kingston. We we're gonna use the uh, University of West Indies. Is one of the places that we're gonna because th- there is a you know it's very intense and it's big. So we're gonna use two three different uh, uh, location. And another uh, is uh, uh, Wayne you know, CRR. You know, CRR in uh, University of West Indies. is one of the places that we're gonna use in Kingston. And the other one is. Um, is a hotel called um, um, is is uh, um, oh my god it just escaped my thing now but I, I can find out and yeah. uh, and let you let the audience know and is there, um, is there a cast is there a cast in all of this that the people them can give your, your, your cousin holidays yes cousin holidays is another one that we're going to use so we're going to use at least two different locations in uh, in, in, Kingston. in in Kingston yeah. because yeah. Because the, the the main object or one of the great objectives that we want, we want to engage the young people. We want yeah. to engage the youth. Okay. All right. Because so now that you mentioned the young people, is there a cost in doing this? Is there, you, you have to sign up and pay a fee to come to the summit or it work? Well, uh, yeah, of course, as you know, a summit like this is, is extremely expensive. So, yes, there will be some cost for some youngsters, but we have received a lot of uh, free tickets as well uh, for example we're running uh, we're running quizzes in uh, in various radio uh, where youngsters can take uh, part and get free tickets also we are giving free tickets to some free tickets to the university to give to the best students for example we are giving free tickets for, for example for students or youngsters doing good things in the community so we have reserved so, a number. So if you're not lucky to get a ticket free, what is the cost to come? If you're not lucky to get oh, a okay. ticket, for do, yes, for those who don't don't uh, do, is that uh, for the for the uh, is, uh, for those who can pay is uh, eighty dollars. Um, eighty dollars is the what US, they can do. Uh, eighty dollars US. Yes. Yeah. The, the, so the ticket starts from from eighty dollars. Uh, it is 80, 80 US dollars okay. um, for that, but uh, but as I said, we we are making it all possible for because we want as many youngsters to attend. Yeah, okay, okay. And it's what time for what time per day in the days? What time is well? It? Yes, we because again, as I said, some activities we're gonna have to do them night because it is designed tonight. For example, the circle of fire is gonna be at night. So the, in this case, but uh, the normal is that uh, it starts about eight, 8 o'clock in the morning, okay. goes all the way to 6 o'clock in the evening. Okay. But the circle of fire, we're going to be it a bit later because we're going to have dinner around the fire. Uh, for example, the gala dinner is going to be at night as well. So, so the $80 cover the dinner? No, the $80 cover the dinner? So we, we, we're going to do two nights, we're going to do circle of fire. Okay, because you know many people don't know how what is the meaning of circle of uh, circle of fire. Many people don't know how the first university started. So we are doing those things to bring what our you know the the joy of our our ancestors what they have created. So when we do circle of fire, we're not going to go to the restaurant to eat. We're going to eat around the fire, all of us. Okay, and it's going to be in the evening, two, two, two of the nights. We're going to do that. Um, and then one night we've got the, uh, one night we've got gala dinner. So then it's going to be a night event as well. But normally, activities only, it's going to be between 8 and 6 o'clock in the afternoon. So the $80 dollars cover the dinner and the circle of fire? Say that again? 
the $80 that you mentioned, it covers the dinner and the circle of fire event? No, 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 no. Oh, that's no, different no, money, no, no, no. The, yeah, um, for, 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 um, for gala dinner, it is a different uh, arrangement altogether. Uh, circle of fire, we, we, we included it for people who buy the ticket and so, it's, we're going to include it as well. But, uh, not the dinner, but the sake of fire, yes. Okay, so if somebody wants to come to the dinner, what do I have to do? What do they have to do? Like it never happened. No, which dinner? I mean, if you talk about the normal dinner, they, no, they, they the get dinner their own dinner. Yes, yeah, yep. normal yep. dinner, they get their own dinner, yes. It's not, uh, we're not, uh, we're not, um, what do you call it, we're not selling the dinner or something like that. It's just in a hotel. I go, for example, um, I, I get my dinner and then I take it to the circle of fire. Oh, it's like buffet it's style. Buffet style. Yeah. Okay. Because right. the activity, the symbolism and the meaning is what we want to pass on to the people, particularly the young people. Okay. Okay. I, I'm trying to wrap my head around the circle of fire in a hotel or in a situation where you have a fire burning. <laughs> We, in the hotel, how, how, how that work? How that going to work? No, we no, well, look. We're gonna go according to because we've got people on the ground right now working where it is possible. We're not gonna go just light fire in the hotel. It's not gonna work like like that. No, uh, what it is is that we are working there. Okay, is it possible to light the fire here? Fine. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're not gonna just go and jump in. No, 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 no we're not gonna just do it. I'm just trying to figure out. We, we, we're keeping, by the way, you, you still don't tell me we're in, we're in Kingston keeping. You said university, of the university. Yeah, the University of West Indies. But, uh, so for where example, the circle of fire will be? Where yeah. the circle of fire will be? Well, you know, we, we, we honestly, we will give the, the, the fine details to, to, to people who register. But, uh, but it's going to be, uh, surely, it's going to be in, the, in, uh, in one of the one of the venues that we're going to use. Because we, we are doing all of this. We're taking uh, into consideration all the security and everything else. And well, that's what I was trying to figure out. That. We are in Kingston. You are going to have a dinner uh, around a circle of fire. I mean, you said university, but I don't know where the university could have a big bonfire and people sit yeah, but, but uh, No, first of all, <laughs> what, what I me mentioned to you, you want, the, you, of course, the fine detail. That's, that's fine. That's fair. But yeah. I'm, I'm telling you that from where I am now, yeah. uh, we are working with the, we are working okay. with the people yeah. on the ground so, to, to the place where we, we can light the fire. We, can, we cannot just go and light the fire anyway. No, I know you so, can't light the fire anyway. That's why I'm concerned about what you're saying. We are, we are going no, to have it. No, brother, don't worry about that because again, we are very responsible people, and we, you know, we did these things elsewhere. So we will do it where it is safe and where it is, it is, if you like, uh, instructed and monitored and managed by the authorities. Yes, so yes, we're not yes. going to just go. No, we're not going to go just and light fire. No, but we will do it. This is for yeah, sure yeah, because okay. in Kingston there is a place to do that. Yeah. Okay. Well. I hope to be, maybe I'll see how I can reach in Kingston, the one in Kingston at the university, to really hear what is taking place, you know? Because yeah. as African-minded one here, we're very concerned with different events and different ones that come to deal with yeah. the African affairs. And you say, yeah, that's what you're dealing with. So we need to come and hear what is being said. You know, yeah. maybe it will benefit a lot of us. You know, and we see say anything that will move the progress yeah. of African people, we will always support it. Yeah. You know, you know um, brother, thanks a lot for that, for the opportunity. Just to let everybody in the audience know that the first, obviously, the objective is to unify the the work that we are doing. You guys are doing a lot of work already. But what we notice around the world is that we do all of this work in isolation. You do the work, others do the work, others do the work. But there's no unification. There's no thing. So the, one of the great objectives of this, for example, that we have achieved with this summit already, think about it this way. 
We are bringing people, diaspora, from the United States, from Europe, from Africa themselves, from New Zealand, from Australia, from Asia, okay? And of course, from Latin America and uh, the Caribbean and so on. All of those people are coming to hear one message. What you are doing is good. What I'm doing is good. But we need to connect. And what the biggest problem we have now is this connection. It's not because we are not doing the work, because people in Jamaica have doing, been doing the work for ages, and you know from Marcus Garvey, Messiah Marcus Garvey, you know from Bob Marley, you know from all of those people. They're doing great work. The only problem is we are isolated. And we wanted to tell everybody, listen, there's no point to us continue to do it isolated anymore because we never succeeded doing it isolated. Now it's time for us to be together. And this is the reason why the organization started, because Omoja means unity. This is the name of the organization, unity. Um, so we want, our mission is to unify all diaspora to continue to do the work, but doing the work in in in, in union, in unity. And that we, is the, the root. I don't know if you know, for example, there is a revival of Marcus Garvey uh, Starline. Star line. There is a revival of that. This is beautiful because that would take people directly from the Americas to Africa and back. You know, so that union is what we require, and we need to be it all of us. So the message is is very clear. It's not because we are saying that people in Jamaica is not doing the work. No, not at all. Actually. Because people in Jamaica are doing a lot of work, this is the reason, one of the reasons why we still have the Maroons, we still have the Kamini, we still have all of these great work and great leaders coming from Jamaica. So let's be together. This is all I'm, oh, this is all I'm message. Let's be together and let's do it. Okay. Well, I'm, you, you didn't say your name, though. What's your name, by the way? But, yeah, my name is Jose Santiago. Really you sound like you're from yeah. Brazil. <laughs> uh, well, my name is Portuguese, yes, indeed. But I'm yeah, not, uh, I'm not yeah. from Brazil. I'm from Brazil. No. Yeah. I, well, I am a Bantu like many Brazilians, but uh, but uh, I am oh. from the west coast of Africa. Okay, all right. Well, yeah. hoping to see you at the... You remind me again, what, when February? Uh, so we, as I said, the, the 5th to 10th of February... Uh, this is where we, we're going to be. And uh, I wanted to uh, let you know, I mean, for your audience, we've, we've got a couple of tickets that we wanted to give to your audience. Okay. Um, so if you allow. And it's very simple. We will uh, just uh, do, give them the quiz um, with the one simple code. Okay. All they need to do, they call you, uh, give the code. They answer the question, give you the code. And if they are right, they win the ticket. Is that simple? Uh, what is the question? Yeah, the the question is uh, um, uh, the the question is uh, what do you call it? Is um, we we ask it yeah. How many countries are there in Africa? How many countries? How many are in can, Africa? Yeah, how many countries are there in Africa? In Africa. Okay. And, and uh, they, the, and for them to, they have to tell the, uh, the, the, what do you call it, the code. And the code is rebel, uh, seven, uh, rebel, uh, 17, because you are still 17. Rebel, rebel 17. 17. Rebel 17, yes. Okay. So right. this, this is the, say that again? Okay. The rebel 17 is the code and the, the question is, how many countries are in Africa? Yes, that's it. Okay, so, right. they, okay, they can call you and yeah. uh, and uh, give the answer and give the code. Or mm -hmm. if you want, then they can call us as well. It's fine. But we would know that uh, if they hear, listen to your program, only yeah. them would know that the name of the code. All right. Okay. Give tongue. Give tongue, Virgin. Okay. All right. Right. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Ooh. No more action block for me. How much ones is saying that in you know, them consciousness? Because when we say the action block, we think of our ancestors and how they were bound and shackled and chained. 
and taken as animals like animals but we survive we were here to tell the tale are still here telling the tale we i'm treating this like a murder case but some questions just don't have answers survive the water graves of the atlantic ocean the blood sweat tears and all that come with that we survived and we will continue to survive because we're not supposed to be here now we're not supposed to be here now the things that they did we are not supposed to be here now but we are here we are the survivors we are the black survivors from Africa we talk about free man and now we're singing songs of free man we there still can't get rid of it can't get rid of it no matter what no matter how much disease and how much famine and drought and wars and all the things them that them throw at us we survive we survive because we are survivors we gave birth to all those who have persecuted us and they're still persecuting us not even knowing and not even recognizing that we are and them is because we are can't get rid of it we refuse to die and sometimes even though living is a problem we refuse to die we're not going to roll over too much of us pass and gone for this this movement of liberation and freedom that we now going to stop and start turning it into a little crazy thing as we can see our whole heap of ones are doing now we are going to continue long 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 after we are going to continue our words will reverberate all across the globe for the liberation of african people and who don't like it bite it because we don't care that is what i call my calling the responsibility of every african is to free every african because if one man is free and the others are not free no man can truly say that he's free because the freedom of one is dependent on the freedom of all and that is what we call collective freedom collective security them can't get rid of a man no matter how much this and how much that them show at us we bounce back and we have to recognize that in ourselves we are the survivors we are the black survivors treading through time and space even thousands of years thousands of years and we have become indelible in the scheme of things indelible can't get rid of it and it's that the youth them have to find out and know that there's enough one come for this and more will come but as we say all the while, I will re 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 reiterate the words of Empire Celeste the First. We are con. 
At 1-800-CONTACTS, we're here for people like super busy Sarah. So there's a super convenient app which reminds her when it's time to reorder her contacts. Done. So easy. You can almost do it in your sleep. Just call, go online, or download the app. 1-800-CONTACTS. Confident in the victory of good over evil. We are confident in the victory of good over evil. That's why we say, free man, liberation, free man. We have to wake up, wake up. I mean, I tell you, time I run out, you know, God, time can't run out. We have time. But we have to know, say, the slave mill are grind slow, but it's still a grind still. Yes, that is what we have to know. The slave mill is still grinding. Very slow it a grind. And some people don't even recognize how weird it is that there is part of the ones who is turning it. <laughs> it's them is part of the one who is turning it. And don't recognize how weird and stupid it is for you keep turning the mill, turning the mill continuously and not realizing that you are the one that is posing the problem to the liberation and the salvation of African people. Wake up. That is what we have to say. Wake up. We're going to take some call after the 12 o'clock belly and the we them call it the Jamaica GIS program and then we take some telephone call. What's on your mind? So we're going to continue the journey, you know. We're talking about liberation and we're talking about how we as African people recognize our liberation and freedom through ourselves, our design, not through the eyes, not through the religious perspective of others, but we who have created our liberation for our liberation. Yes, that is why we have to love Rasta so much, because we're going to it and create something. Though wrong it might seem for a lot of people, but we know it is a liberation force. Rasta fire is a liberation force to many people to get themselves out of the 500 years Illusion and illusion that them have been. The time is 12 o'clock in Jamaica. Yes. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Man as well as good night, sir. Good morning, <laughs> All right, yes. sir. Hey, don't yes. pressure me in the morning, you know. Go on. Yes. Talk where you talk. Don't want to come pressure me, you know. <laughs> All right, boss. Yes, it's true. Yes, it's that me is a man of principle and respect. So, I'm not going to pressure you. All right, I don't want you to navigate me this morning. I got, I got GPS there with you a little bit. Mm. All right, follow me now. See, to the meal I learn, you know, it's like I get this thing mixed up because I was thinking the Maroon movement, you see, and, mm. and Chief Curry. To them, I kind of get to understand it's, it's really not one old Maroon body. A, a, a maroon is like it's divided in, in all no, this. No, we are not. They never know. So you have maroons from say in a Saint Thomas and Portland and maroons in a Saint Elizabeth. Are the first you know that? Well, I yeah. Think, say, I think the chief core was the leader for all of them. All, yes, yes, because well, um, to them me I do a little investigation about a, a place named White River and Charles Town, topside yeah. Buff Bay. Yeah. I mean, I get to find out, say, it's like Chief Corinna really nearby the so. No, no, no. I said it's a place named there. A, a Kong Pong. Where? A Kong Pong. And where that be? In a St. Elizabeth. It's about that, that far away. It's a maroon. Like, no, but we, no, then, then, um, where do you think maroon mean? What maroon mean? All right, go, after you're done, go look at the dictionary. What do you say now? Yeah, me know. Me you, me know. You're about nanny. You're about, you about yeah. nanny. Yeah. Where do you think nanny come from? Africa. No, I mean uh, in a uh, Jamaica. Which part is it there? Which part Charles Town, I, I think. 
the, she the, the up on the, she not St. Thomas Portland area. Right. You never hear the story about Kojo. Kojo, that's a nanny a warrior. A, no, a Kong Kong. Them say them related. That's what them say. According to the legend, them related. All right. So now, when them say Kojo was going to sign the peace treaty, yeah. them, according to what we hear, nanny travel from over St. Saint Thomas, or clear at St. Elizabeth, but tell him, don't sign it. Mm -hmm. Have I heard that story there yet? Yes, Mary. Mary. Yeah, then, then over there, so you did have Kojo. That's why they have a celebration for Kojo every 6th August. They have oh. a celebration in a, a compound, which is a different group from over them um, over um, St. Thomas and, um, and Portland. And Portland. Yeah, so Corey, Corey is, the, is the chief for the Akompong Maroons. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that different uh, set. Uh, okay, so so being then, we're then in a, in a trajectory, you know, you would have said St. Elizabeth would have, have the more stronger portion to them, what them call them, the Maroons. I Ruth. don't know if the stronger uh, portion, all I know is uh, they have gotten a lot of what them call it time, here we have time and thing because of them, them ability, them work, what them do in our compound and they always having different chiefs, them vote for chief and all them something there, you know, just like the other one them over so, so you yeah, have a certain time of year when the one them over St. Thomas, celebrate and Portland, celebrate for them vibes. Right. And you have a compound now, which is a big celebration on the 6th of February, sorry, 6th of January. Two years now it has gone where people come and celebrate the maroon them in our compound. So I will leave a time when people come at Jamaica come examine maroons. It's a mm -hmm. compound them find themselves. So, but, yeah, then at when there's something wrong about that picture. We're wrong about it. If the, the rest of the, the, the culture get left out, like, where are uh, you from now? Cha I'm Charlestown side now, Buff Day side, back to my place now, where but I recently lost a family that side. Yeah. So, oh, yeah? it's, it's like, yes, man, I'm never, ex I, I consider them places to be a place of violence. You know, and I'm about you Tyson Barber, because of so it it seems as if uh, but that me that say you know me I say well to to the to bring it to the point why I'm ask that come I say then if I that place where uh, curry them and the maroon where a spiritual place where you know it it seems half but to the me I realize uh, in far from them part there yeah man then Jamaica they're not far away from one side to the other side man uh, like me live in so and you live on the grill a far place that you know. Hello? I'm I'm cut off. I'm all call back still. I'm all call back. Yes. Um, the, the, the idea of a maroon, though, is, is kind of a non-starter. You know, the maroons. You know, maroon people sometimes feel like, say, them different from the not like all me, you know. You know, I, I, I have heard ones talking about Oh, you could have got married outside of the maroon community. You know, that is really something else. You know, it's like them, them, them claim, them claim sovereignty over the Jamaican black people, them who they go through the same thing. You know, so, and now them fight for what them call them state according to the treaty where them sign with the, the British. And Corey is the more known one of all of the chief them as a youth. He has established himself as a a leader. That's why the that's why the Brethren might think say Corey is the leader for all of the Maroon them. But that is not the case. Cause you have Maroon in a Suriname too, you know, a big community of Maroon in a Suriname. Well, what people don't even know, say, of maroon there in them place there. We are all maroons, domiciled on these farmer slave plantation island. All of we. 
there. Discover new opportunities together in a new Chevy. Meet up in an award-winning Equinox. For one thing, freedom and liberation. Okay, Hill. Hill? Good, good night, my general. Good night, sir. Yeah, man. I have to say, the general, I get. All right, let me go through a few quick things, sir, motor. You think there's... All right, let me pick up Raspal and Mandingo. Long life for them two, man. Okay. Motor, you believe there's any difference between PMP and GLP? No. No, man. Same body, same body, you know. Two I just a color, I just a color and, and the symbol, right? A two headed dragon. Thank you. Cut you off man. one head at the same body. Uh, one right. head, you cut off at the same body. Motor, this land thing, this peach land thing. Yeah. If my memory serves me right, this thing I come from PJ time. You know? I mean, 100%, but it come from PJ time. PJ as a black leader. The land thing, when I'm a tech, when the, the, the beach land, mm-hmm. where poor people now have access to, I come from PJ time. Me and me 100. All right. GLP coming up, or does GLP change it to make poor people have access to the beach? Well, for me, say it'll get worse. Thank you. All right. More and more beach is being acquired by big multinational hoteliers that is coming here Thank to, you, to make a come a little, I don't know what and it's going to become. Anyway. Motor, as long as poor black people are worship Jesus Christ and GLP and PP, they not get better motor. Period. Uh, Done. Uh, uh, but motor, the GLP, PMP come with certain things where Make the people man come at table. GLP, PMP lose GLP, take it up, GLP continue. Tell me if anybody from the private sector ever come on TV and say, government, the people must have access. Tell me if anybody from the churches come and defend poor people. Them too bad. Tell me, because we don't believe no say a church and state and, and, and them private sector. Well, they will actually have a church, man, where in time. Cabo did I have the, the demonstration when they close on the beach or I watch there. Then they have a demonstration and one of the persons them was a church man from a church. I don't remember the name of the church. Motor. <laughs> yes. You, you ever drive anytime go up on branch in a Spanish town? Call too much church on that street. No, you don't have to go up on branch. And you know much just, church just, in a Jamaica. Just go around in the ghetto. Thank you. As I ask, so why the church in a Beverly is not Cherry Garden? No, no, no. But in a, it was church in Maxwell Avenue. So, when I try to tell you some more, I need to play about a thing. Poor people, prior to different, I'm telling you, them over and over, say, nothing now come from Sky Food and the world don't want to know. You mean, there's something just play a while ago, there's something about poor people, the difference between poor people and rich people? And rich people. A long okay. time, I tell them that to the world, no, hold them nothing. We're just yeah. a poor man if we get shot and dead. We're just an statistic. We don't have to make our life better. Of course. If we don't want it easier, we don't have poor people have to come together and stop killing us. We don't want another. Because yeah. nothing from Sky now come help us. No, not You tell me now, Muta. PMP keep going around them and labor and GLP and keep deceiving the people. Day that day, I'm going to tell you, a couple months before Christmas, I tell you all them people are wicked. There was some land where the people never left in the will and them died. Mm. The relevant government body took it over and the government get the land. All right, Muta? Yeah. And then right, Chuck announced it, said there's no family member come and claim it till the government get it. If these guys, they love poor people so much. Why is it that they right, Chuck announced that this land is going for sale? At market value. If they love poor people so much, they're not build some one bedroom on this land and take the people in the downtown where it's up on them courthouse and central and put them in the motor. If Bell Wright, Chuck and Andrew Wallace and Mark Golden love poor people, you yeah, think them would have do that? Them say a market value. Who you think I get this land no motor? Them and them friends. And they don't hear nothing happen more people about them. it. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Or is it that a man where you see all the time so long, so long, it must some children who own so much land out of center. And poor people can't own land. There's some house that 
soon done over Portmore motor. A thirty four million dollar for the for the two bed. Over so Portmore? You, over Portmore. Them, thirty them, four million? Thirty four million, you have three bedroom and two yeah, bedrooms. Thirty four million and uh, uh, kind, of, kind of price building over Portmore, man. Repeat motor. I demand most of them have them price there half house over Portmore. All right, as you come pan around about it, so you pass Aki Village. Yeah. And you come around about and make the right. Yeah. And continue the street, pan the, 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 the street highway and pass the Phoenix gas station and yeah, go down so before, like yeah. before you turn off to KRB and Estate or before you reach. Um, what? Yeah, 34 million motor. You tell me no motor. Because. Mm. I'm going to tell them, you know, Jerry Small, Muta Baruch, and Carbo, and Miguel. Tell me no Muta. You as a man know where you get my 80,000 a month, Muta. You get 80,000 a month. You pay your income tax or tax. After you pay your tax, now you pay your light bill for one ten thousand dollars Say the cheapest plus tax. You pay your water. One next 10,000 20 plus tax. Almost left out of 80,000 dollars Tell me, man, I can never let that check. But the, the, the thing with that, uh, them people can't afford that 30 million house. So Thank you, Muta. It never so makes for them. Obviously, the never makes for them. And then tell me, I try to share from them come with the psychology of the root vent tower. And mm. I come about that as a help. Does it help Muta in an increase oh, yeah, to the rate of the house now? The, the, tell the, me the, how we tell poor people to get a house now. All right, you have a drive on the highway. When you turn off a key, no key man, um, ferry yeah. desk, like yeah. you have a maple, pen, uh, yeah. before you reach, yeah, yeah. um, some little box holes by the side, by the right. This is a motor, you are genius. Some, I don't see the box then, I don't uh, genius. <laughs> I see the seed. I don't see it. Yeah. You don't tell me no motor, remember, you have a prime minister, Bill a wall, too much a million, you know. Mm. And you tell me no motor. Tell me no good. God, my brethren were, were four parents, them part of this country will get raped we put mm. cut off mm. them take our kidney and put a river for bait alligator and we'll pay with four parents my ancestors them fall for this country up until it's very minute from 1962 motor mm. man now nah, Siago now nah, Bruce School and now nah, Pusha seems to all ah, know them can't cut land and I say so what do you think we should have though tell me what you think we should have though we think we should, we should just take a country because number one, the way to the country now, we think we just take a country. Take Anytime it, oh, we take a oh, country, yeah, we'll the time it. Oh, oh, yeah, we'll take it. Oh, we'll take it. Yeah. Well, the first thing we have to do is try to convince the police and the soldiers that they are part of it, not to protect Angela mm -hmm. and them friends. That's the first thing that's why these people are afraid of the The psychology that these people want changes, but them afraid for dead. Them one ain't gonna help me enough, but them free for dead. You tell me when was the last thing about demonstration in Jamaica? Them why don't the work for themselves? Everybody just have been like it's been done. You remember the youth, them when they planned the protest or sent them as when they said the road, them did not match up with the truck. Yeah, them. yeah, the bridge. The two yeah. youth, them. Yeah, and they must have tricked them and they lock up one and a half a tree and one a, 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 a constant spring. I got no, I'm here, go up with him. All right. Motor, yeah, 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 to them, you die, and then you they just punish from the system. Them they both, man. No, man. Yeah, but you don't know, hear anything from them again. Yeah, yeah, them they both. So, guys, how them talk, them are the talk. One of them get dead somewhere about them, I remember. Something like that, me that here. Yeah. Because when it actually happened, the youth, them, I say, all right, when they are taking a 10 or 18 wheeler, I draw a mile from this parish, where so poor and papa, right? and the mile with the weight, no motor. Yeah. And mash up the road so the road yeah. so lumpy with the heat and the road no no yeah. make for deal with that weight motor. So yeah. it and mash up the man I say only I get treated from this put back some and them stay the demonstration and them treat the youth them and lock them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I try to tell poor black people from Rima to Tivali to to, to, to Grand Spain to to, to, to Mount the View Stop kill the same man, them all the go school together with I play football together when I hit the same pan and beat together with I'm sometimes when I kill a man them on I'll pity with them sister. But it's to you unite. Know. Listen to Marcus Garvey and try and win back this country because in the day Mark Golden can't run a fan as a car. Mark them money up for and Andrew Wallace can't run a car. Mark them money up for I don't know where for on the motor. My passport mm -hmm. expired about six years now. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to white man country, put a white boy, I come put him foot on my neck. Yeah, well, you know, him not must put your foot now. You know, you don't must have I shot me then. I shot me. Yeah. So we need no more to have to say no from 1962 and them say, we get to have a better every five years. It gets worse and more to That's as yeah. worse than two years, double RST and double RST. It gets worse. Yeah. Tell me more to have to Yeah, but anybody will, anybody will listen to them something and, and uh, kind of lose it. If you listen to them politicians and say that. You know, say that now go happen because big people could not believe, say, what they must say. A joke is the big people come and hear politicians say that. Say that next year they might get better. They, they know, say, not, not go so. But Mota, them still, them still, I uh, climb up on the bus, say, Mota, and the yeah, people yeah. them say, the, the politician yeah. drive hard, and the, the politician drive BMW, and the wife and drive boom. hard, and them son drive Porsche. You know what to say? Yeah, I four Kentucky people drive. Boom. Let yeah. me chop on the bus stop, dog. Yeah. And I will have Some soldier today I tell my mother, I said, I'm going to patch you somewhere. And hey, you're treating my soldier, I'm telling me. Flexible financing for healthcare and more of what life throws your way with care credit. Can we get down the, the fence, then, the zinc fence, then? Yeah. This country is a better country. Why is it that from as, as 21st century, why is it that these guys collect so much tax motor? And yeah. then can't pull down the zinc pen. So even if the police them are patrol and can't make so and furthermore, there's no police in Jamaica anyway. We have traffic one, as you know. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, that I, motor. I got your car, traffic water. Traffic water, <laughs> traffic ticket then. There's no police. Because I can't go to half a chance to four of them so yeah, yeah, tax them yeah, and say, yeah, we're gonna do that guys, we are pull you out of this. Yeah, but when we talk to some soldier to the motor, the man make my notes say, my general, the man that was so called, they were one and then they call them a shoot me. Because there was a gunshot fire at PM. And them said, I'm not going up there. Mm. A woman come to our face, bust up and say, I got the gun. And the police said, I'm not going up yeah. And so, yeah, today, over camp, me and them are oh, And then, I them I said, them come around or come sleep. The children saw them, they had a post, them come around the post, them come sleep. Most of because they put boys and girls in uniform in blue denim yeah. with a black pan inside to what? To extort Jamaican decent law by citizen. The real criminal and uh, as I tell you, you, know, you have a bank motor and you have two doors. You have a front door and a back door. What they does, the back door is half a tree square at the clock. You put one million police at the clock and no police at the back of, at the, at the back of the bank. So what, what the gunman are going to do? Yeah. Tell me now. Go to half a tree and any number of day time motor and you stand up at your pharmacy the car and I taste it and so much police stand up there no, so there I no, sit no, them no, upon motor turn them back I'm no, dead no, dead. No, them man, you know where they must have people for you so you go up on the wrong lane for go down uh, Agni Park Road them no no I'd let them stop you for yeah alright so <laughs> why they not believe that the people in post city you must talk to somebody about it they say me I taste it yeah. alright they must say them stop a man daily and a man disarm him and shoot him in a man I'm putting up. I remember, you know, if that man can never see him with a put in record, and that man don't have a car to pick up in picnic, but yet still is the man can to the hospital. Yeah. And if, if the man can never see him, I bet you a million dollars, he would have given the man ticket and put him, put him car up on record. But yeah. yes, after him get shot, I know nobody not talking about when second is in the motor. Mm. I know the commission of police don't talk about him second. The man where I'm Mr. Security, we can't speak English, and I'm a deputy prime minister. Don't talk more with him, second. I look for them, and I say, boss, man, throw me a look for that people. You're going to stick out, and man can as well drive up to your father and pull out the gun. When I take things for granted, and you know, see, he said, him for read the paper, the, the, the look for the, the document and that one, what you but the, look at you, one, this my motor, me, I look for them body long time, I look for me, for me, for me, like him, I say, this man, I'm most police uh, soldier. In my anticipation, I can't have a big one of the respect, boss, respect. And they seem vaguely say, yeah. We sort of can't do that, you dude. To the motor right at the same half a tree, there are six of them on the bar, you turn them back, yeah, motor. Yeah, 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 six yeah, yeah, of them. Yeah. I'm there, I'm saying, me, I take a picture about you, me, no, so I'm going to have 10 police and like me, laugh, motor. So it's sure you say, the country that's running with the leader, there's nobody running the country.